This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number six from the October 2022 International A Level at Excel um, Pure Mathematics 1 exam. And this question here is about sketching some curves. So it says, given that k is a positive constant and that k is between 0 and 4, sketch on separate axes the graphs of 1, y equals 2x minus k times x plus 4 all squared. So we'll start with number 1. Second one is y equals k over x squared. Now, we have here, in question number 1, we have here a cubic function. Because if you were to expand this, you're going to end up with 2x cubed. Right? You'll have 2x cubed. So it's a cubic function with a positive x cubed coefficient. So when you have a cubic function and a positive x cubed coefficient, it's going to have this type of shape like this, rise and rise, right? If you have a positive x cubed coefficient, right? That's a cubic curve, two turning points. Now, in this particular um, curve, we want to find where it crosses. If we want to sketch it, we need to find where it crosses the x-axis, where it crosses the y-axis, okay? And we need to know, um, and from that, we can work out, you know, where, where it's going to turn. Right, so that's the first thing. So first of all, let's work out where it crosses the 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 x-axis. In fact, let's work out what's easier, where it crosses the y-axis first. It crosses the y-axis when x equals 0. Now, when x equals 0, you'll have y equals, now this will become 2 times 0, so you have a minus k times, and this will be 0 times 4 squared, so you end up with 16k, uh, negative 16k. So it's going to cross the y-axis and negative 0, negative 16k. So in the, in the negative part, we know k is a positive constant, so negative 16k is going to be on the negative side of the y-axis. And secondly, we need to find where it crosses the x-axis. Now, where does it cross the x-axis? Well, that's when y equals 0. So if we solve the equation 2x minus k times x plus 4 all squared equals 0, we have one solution, which is 2x minus k equals 0, in which case k is equal to, if you, uh, sorry, x is equal to, not k, x is equal to k over 2. You're going to find what k x is, so you add k and divide by 2. So now we know k is somewhere between 0 and 4, so this is going to be somewhere between 0 and 2. k over 2 is going to be somewhere between 0 and 2. It's half k, right? So that's one place where it crosses the x-axis. It's a single root. But the second part is when you have x plus 4 squared equals 0. This is called a repeated root. This is like x equals minus 4. And it's repeated. Okay, this is called a repeated root. So basically, when you get a repeated root, what happens is it turns on the x-axis at that point. So if we make a, with a ruler, you should make a pair of axes. You should always use a ruler to do that. Okay, now I know that it turns at minus 4. It crosses down here somewhere at minus 16, uh, minus 16k, and then it, it crosses the x-axis again at 2. Now, what I like to do, to be honest with you, I don't like to actually draw the axes first. So I'm going to get rid of these axes first. I just like to draw a cubic curve. I know it's up and up without any pressure of where to put anything. I'm just going to draw a cubic curve. Right, without any pressure, just draw, draw a cubic curve like this, make it look nice. There's my cubic curve, all right? Without any pressure of making it join at any point or whatever. Just try and do it as best as I can. Now, I know that it touches the x-axis at minus 4, and it cuts the x-axis at k over 2, which is somewhere between 0 and 4. So that means the x-axis is going to go somewhere along here. Why is it not straight? Of course, it has to be straight. So the x-axis is going to go horizontal, of course, and it's going to go such that it just touches the curve at that point, and it crosses the curve at that over there somewhere. So this is your x-axis. This is negative 4, and this point is k over 2. And, of course, the place where it crosses the, the uh, y-axis is going to be at negative 16, so somewhere down here, negative 16k, right, so somewhere down here, so it's going to be something like this, now this is like 
the, the y-axis is going to be closer to this side than it is to that side. Why? Because this is like less than 2. All right? This is less than 2 because, remember, this is, um, k is between 0 and 4. So k over 2 is going to be 2 or less. And this, this distance is from minus 4 to the, um, to the y-axis is going to be a bigger distance. So it's going to go something like this. Right? So it's going to be something like this. So this is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. This is your origin. K over 2 is closer to the origin than minus 4 because that distance is less than that distance for sure. Right? So it's going to have something like this. And here you're going to have negative 16K. So here we have sketched part 1. So we've drawn a cubic curve. We've shown that it touches the x-axis. and We have the right shape up and up. If it was a negative x cubed coefficient, it would go the other way. It would go down and like down and down, that kind of shape. <laughs> but it's not like that because the x cubed coefficient is positive. We found where it crosses the x axis, the y axis, by replacing x with 0, so negative 16k. We found where it crosses the x axis by putting y equals 0 and solving that equation. So you have either x equals a half k or x equals minus 4. x equals minus 4 twice. Okay, it's like a repeated root, so it turns on the x axis at that point. And we've marked the point. So we, we followed the instructions. Okay, we've, um, for part one, showing the coordinates of any points where the graphs cross or meet the coordinate axis, leaving the coordinates in terms of k where appropriate. So for these two. So there's part one sketched and drawn. That's perfectly fine. And we're done with that. Now, part two says y equals k over x squared. So here we have a reciprocal curve. And here, uh, k is four. Posit uh, k is between zero and four. So it's a positive value. k is a positive value. And it's over x squared. So here we have a reciprocal curve. Why? Because in the denominator we have an x. So this curve, we know that x can't be equal to 0 because it will cause this to be undefined. We have 0 in the denominator. And also y can't equal 0. Why? Because if you put y equals 0, you have k over x squared. And you end up with, you know, if you try to solve this, you end up with k equals 0, which doesn't make sense. All right? So x and y cannot equal 0. Right, so those are asymptotes, and um, it's going to have an asymptote, the 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 y-axis and the x-axis. But this won't be in this won't have any negative values for y, because when you put x, for example, as minus one, it's got, y is going to be k over one. When you put x as minus two, y is going to be k over four. Right, so it's going to be like symmetrical on on the y-axis. Y-axis is going to be like a line of symmetry for this curve. So it's going to go look something like this. It won't have any part on the x-axis. I'm going to draw in the asymptotes, even though it doesn't tell us. So normally they do say, show any asymptotes or write the equations of any asymptotes. So I'm going to do that anyway. So that, well, that's one asymptote. And that's another asymptote. Those are lines that the curve can't touch. So I'm just going to put this. This is your x-axis. This is your y-axis. This is I'm going to put y equals 0. And this is x equals 0, the asymptotes. And I'm just going to draw the curve. Now, there's no point where this is going to cross the x-axis, so we can't put any intersections, but it's going to look something like this. It's going to get closer and closer to the axis without actually touching it on both axes like this. And the other side will be like a mirror image of that. Try and draw it like as best as you can. Okay, of course, they don't expect you to do it perfectly, but that would be fine. This is y equals k over x squared. And we know k is positive, so it's going to be in these two quadrants like this. That's fine. As long as it doesn't touch the axes, okay? If you try to make it clear that it doesn't touch the axes, that's fine. So here maybe that was getting a bit too close, so I can't tell. Something like that is perfectly fine, okay? That's the slip of the pen. It shouldn't go back upwards. Don't make it too, th too thick. Okay, that, that's fine. There we have our curve oops okay. so y equals k over x squared so we have now sketched the second curve on the separate axes and we're we're done there then it says state with a reason the number of roots of this equation now this equation is where 2x minus k times x plus 4 squared which is graph 1 is equal to k over x squared. Okay, so the roots of this equation are the solutions of this equation. It doesn't mean the roots of 
you know, this equation here, where this cross the x-axis, doesn't mean that. It means where these two intersect. Now, if you were to draw them on the same pair of axes, then this part would be up here, and it wouldn't intersect at all on this section. And this part would be on this side over here. It would go like this, and you can see that they would intersect in only one place. They will never intersect again, because this continues going up. The, the y-axis, never touching it, we're getting close to it. This keeps going this way, closer to the x-axis, never getting, never, never going back up again. This goes up and up, this way going away from the curve. So they only touch somewhere in between in this area over here, as this comes down. So we can say that the number of roots is going to be one. You can say one root, and you must state a reason. One root, and the reason being, okay, the two, the, the curves, you, mu you must mention the intersection of the curves. The curves intersect each other. Okay, you must mention something about the curves intersecting each other only once. Okay, only once. Don't mention just intersection because they might think you mean intersection between this curve and the x-axis like many people think. No, the curves intersect each other only once. Be specific about that to get the mark for the question. So one root, if you just write one root, you won't get the mark. You have to give the reason. The reason is that these two curves would intersect in one place only. And that concludes question number six about sketching curves, which is an important topic. Um, other questions from this particular topic uh, or from this particular paper, October 2022 P1, can be found in the playlist that appears in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of graphs and sketching graphs can be found in the playlist that will appear over here in this area and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.